Felicia Blee is quite easy going. Um, we don't age it, uh, we serve it by glass. Sometimes we use it for banquet as well, uh, for larger type of events. Um, and uh, usually we try to consume them as young as possible. I mean, I'm not saying they're not ageable, but uh, I think it's best to enjoy them once they're a little bit young and fresh. And when it comes to Chablis level, uh, a lot of our hotels uh, and a lot of restaurants in Hong Kong and China, we, uh, we serve it by glass. Uh, and I think, mm -hmm. uh, again, it's a very good entry point for people, for consumers who just get into start drinking wine uh, or start to, start to uh, want to enjoy more Bourbon uh, wines. And when it comes to premium crew and grand crew level, we tend to list the wines that with slight age uh, on one list. Uh, because with age, I mean, first of all, these wines are, are very suitable for aging uh, with their concentration, yeah. with their dry extract, with their, uh, with their uh, acidity level. Uh, so they're very suitable for aging. And when with aging, they, can be, they, they develop more nuanced aroma, more, more, more complex aromas. So when we list wines uh, from premium program crew, we try to have some wines with age. And also, I think no matter if it's PD, uh, Chablis all the, way, uh, all the way to Grand Cru, I think another advantage of Chablis wines is they're very good wines for pairing food uh, because they're sharpness, uh, because, because they're uh, kind of more linear structure, uh, but still you have a lot of minerality, which brings a lot of freshness from the seafood. And uh, also Chablis is more, more diverse mm -hmm. than most consumers think. You know, you have Chablis that is very straight, very steely, uh, very, very, very sharp, but also you still have Chablis that is quite structured. Uh, some of them uh, are being fermented aging oak, which has some secondary aromas. Yeah. Uh, so there are different type of Chablis that uh, uh, the style that actually can suit for different uh, consumer with different preference. So I think that's a, it's it's a very diverse region as well, more diverse than most consumers think about them. Yeah. And uh, but I think in the end when we when we sell Chablis or when we pitch Chablis to consumers, um, I think there's a, a few keywords that we always use. Uh, mm -hmm. Purity, mm -hmm. uh, clarity, and the transparency. Yeah. Uh, I think... That's three uh, words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. I'm sorry, I'm too much. <laughs> clarity and transparency. But I'm yeah, very, very true. Purity, that's three words. <laughs> three words. <laughs> <laughs> 